Taurus, hi, welcome to my channel. Today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 31st to the 6th, 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. Uh, no particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single uh, Taurian, so do check out your replacements, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. Uh, once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, it all helps the channel grow, it's much appreciated. And the um, description box has all the details you need, private read information, links to Patreon for full access to all extendeds, individual access through Vimeo, and uh, Instagram link to see photos of the spread. So, Taurus. What's going on? The Three of Cups, beautiful, celebrations, reconciliations, um, meeting with friends, being sociable, I like it, it's a happy energy, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, Potential outcome. Wowzers. There is absolutely no doubt there's a soulmate in the mix. Could take you by surprise. I'll take one of you by surprise. The Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, here you are. King of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Taurus, you may find yourself with a decision to make in regards to... It could be love, it could be friendships, it could be... Um... I almost feel like a lot of people want a piece of you here. I don't know if you're just um, <clears throat> exuding a lot of confidence. Um, I kind of feel there's going to be a lot of attention, really. So the Three of Cups. This is a card of celebration. It's a card of socialising. Um, what we're aware of is the Nine of Wands. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, like, you're tired and worn out. But I feel like all these energies that are going to come at you, you're going to have to beat them down with a stick. Um, so what you're not aware of is the tower. There's been like a, a shake-up somewhere. The recent past is the Ace of Discs. So this is an opportunity. This is something new, something tangible that's coming. Um... With the Three of Cups here, it could be something very, very much worth celebrating. I'm, I almost feel like this Three of Cups isn't... Could be like a surprise celebration, possibly. Not too sure. Just with the tower here, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost picturing the full... Fall in the Three of Cups can indicate some sort of surprise, surprise celebration or unexpected celebration, possibly. The immediate future is the lovers. This could well be a decision, um, especially with the Three of Cups here. You know, the three three people. You could have a choice of people. You know, like I said, beating down the energies coming at you. Um, and the outcome is the magician. This is, you know manifesting whatever you desire for those of you that say that you can't have what you want you know if you can think it into reality you can create it and for me as a combination this is without question and soulmate energy um you know some somebody that's you've got a powerful connection with interesting it could hit you out of the blue, it could hit them out of the blue with the tower. You know. 
I see some sort of social thing here where it's as if somebody's just going to have a knowing. I'm, I'm getting like, I mean, there's no kind of eye contact here, but I'm getting like someone's going to see somebody and going to see in in a different way. Um, so it could be with the three of cups here. It could be something like a fr you know friendship that turns into something more. Um, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, it's like a a realization of some kind. It's like um, with this eye, something that's either been staring at you that you didn't realize, or you know, or vice versa for this other person. very well be a decision to make. You could have the there could be an element of standoffishness though, possibly from yourselves. Um, I don't know, I'm getting kind of a a feeling like you know what is it you want from me type of thing you know especially if it's something that perhaps didn't work in the past um, interesting Interesting. The star, the knight of wands, the king of pentacles, and the king of cups. You could very well have a choice, you know. Uh, and don't get caught up in genders, but there could be a choice here between a king of pentacles and a king of cups. Um, it could be somebody from your past as well. I kind of feel like if there's gonna, if there's going to be a choice, it could be someone from the past as well as somebody new. Um, because I feel like the knight is somebody from the past, he's looking in the past. So one of these two could be uh, a past energy. However, you know, they've changed from the knight into a king, which is good. So, knight of cups and the star bottom of the deck. It looks good. Three of Cups is with the Hanged Man. So I kind of feel like it's saying to look at this a different way with the Three of Cups. There could be some sort of It could, be, it could be an introduction from a friend, like a friend of a friend, uh, something like that. But I'm also kind of getting here that there could be some sort of secrecies in regards to a friend. There's like, look at, look at the friendship a little bit different. It, oh, that could well be it, you know, friendship turning into something more. Uh, look at the friendship different, yeah. Um, the Nine of Wands, what you're aware of is with the moon. I kind of feel like there's a big emphasis here on this full moon in um, Sagittarius um, because the Nine of Wands is the moon in Sagittarius and this is the come this coming this coming Wednesday so this is this will be from the previous week to what we're talking about uh, time is time is uh, linear anyway so but um, 
there's there's a big emphasis here. So this kind of new project, this Ace of Pentacles could have could come this week uh, if it hasn't for you already, and it's with the Queen of Wands. So it could be something to do with um, uh, an opportunity, an entrepreneur, something that you can really put your creative juices in. Um, so there's there's a, there's a big emphasis here on this um, this full moon lunar eclipse. So we've got the moon in Sagittarius, clarified by the moon. Uh, what you're not aware of is the tower with the three of wands. Three of wands for me is a card of always seeing the bigger picture. And the full moon in Sagittarius in the moonology is look at the bigger picture. So if there's been a tower moment for you, uh, or if a tower moment comes, there's a need to look at the bigger picture for it. Look at a situation different. Look at the opportunities that come from whatever this is. The immediate future is the lovers with the four of wands. This could be a decision about a wedding. This could be um, a, a marriage of some kind. Um, for some of you, this is the divine masculine, divine feminine. This is the emperor and the empress uh, together. So there could be something coming in where it's, it's you know it's a fantastic match, um, but there is an incidence here of third party energy as such. It doesn't have to be a relationship. Um, it could just be something that's an issue, a third thing, something that's an energy that's in the way. Uh, you could be seeing three 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 a lot. So we've got the three of cups. We've got the hangman at number twelve. Breaks down to a three. And then the three of wands. So three, three, three is all about um, manifesting abundance. And then the outcome is the magician with the ancestor cards. Basically, whatever you can picture, manifest, your ancestors are saying, "We've got your back. We uh, will help you manifest your desires. Um, you're fulfilling your soul contract." Uh, you're bringing, it's like you're coming together with who you're meant to be with. Um, could be a friend of a friend, it could be a friend that turns into something a bit more serious. Well, a lot more serious, I'm judging by this. Uh, sorry, if you're new to the channel, two extra cards came in the deck. Um, I left them in there because they spoke to me j just for artwork, but um, this is my ancestor card. This is ancestors, grandparents, this is the spirit guides that type of thing so it very 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 much looks like there's a decision to make in love um, I kind of feel like there's possibly somebody from your past and there's possibly something new and yeah it's definitely a, a top match with uh, the magician and the lovers Definitely soulmate energy, especially with the four of wands as well. Eleven, eleven card. You can be seeing that a lot. Um, but yeah, whatever you desire, manifest it, and it's going to come. But there's a need to look at the bigger picture. Okay. So maybe look at your tower moments that have happened in the past. Maybe the last three years. We'll look at the uh, and see what, why things have happened the way they've happened. Uh, if this is somebody returning from the past, perhaps utilise the energy as to why things didn't work out. Um, maybe there was a lot more going on in your life or their life um, that wasn't seen on the surface. There, there's a bigger picture to it all, but it does look good. I like it. So, Taurus, you could even your chart or be dealing with Gemini, Virgo, very strong Gemini. Cancer Pisces, very very strong Pisces. Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, fellow Taurus, possibly. But we have wands, we have cups, we have pentacles, rainy swords. Yes, we had the King of Swords. Everybody's here, those are your standouts. So in the extended Taurus, we're going to look at this either person or persons. We're going to look at it from their point of view, see what's going on with it, and uh, hopefully get some answers. 
okay? Yeah, let me know if it resonates. If you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, uh, look after yourselves and I'll see you soon.